So here we have the new G2 launcher. It's almost complete. The only thing that's missing are the fill tubes that go into each of the boosters. So over here we have three uh, booster nozzles, seats, and here is the main stage. Now each of the nozzle seats can uh, move radially in and out. Uh, they're free to do that. We can fit different size boosters and main stage and it also allows them to move as the bottles stretch under pressure preventing the nozzles from getting wedged. Uh, over here we've got the air inlet manifold with a non-return valve and a pressure release valve as well for the main stage. Uh, this is the control box that has four of the servo timer twos in it that control the individual uh, servo motors on here. We also have a remote launch uh, controller that just plugs into here and there's about uh, I think 30 meter long cable. So it's very easy to use so you would load your rocket and then lock it in place. First we have to set the servos into their default position. So now we can put the rocket on, lock it all in place and you would at this stage pressurize it turn the system on and when you're ready to launch you would just arm it and count down three two one and it launches the rocket these were our first low pressure tests at 100 psi in order to see how well the release is synchronized we used a high speed camera to film the release and then adjusted the timing based on what we saw launching in three two one go <laughs> On the first launch we noticed a couple of the bottles were quicker off the mark, so on the next launch we increased their delay. We currently have the timing field adjustable in 5 millisecond increments. And launching in 3, 2, 1... Because we used air only in these light bottles, the acceleration is very high at around 200 G, which makes any timing differences more obvious. The final G2 rocket will have an acceleration closer to 30 G. And launching in 3, 2, 1, go! For the last launch, we deliberately delayed the main stage to make sure that three boosters will be fully engaged when the main stage goes. Next will come finer adjustments and also 200 PSI hold down and release tests.